again to another QuickBooks Online tutorial. My name is Enoch Garcia. I'm the lead accountant and QuickBooks advisor here at Honest Accounting Group. Today we're going to go through the process of entering multiple invoices in batches instead of having to enter them one by one. In order for this feature to work, you will need QuickBooks Online Advanced. So you will need that subscription. Let's get started. So let's go to New. Under Other, we have Batch Transactions. Here it gives us an option to select what type of transaction. Today we're just going to focus on invoices. Action create. And here line one, we'll start with our first one. So the moment you click on the line, you'll have uh, the invoice number auto generated. Here you can select your customer and it'll pre-fill the email, the terms. You can update these. And here we have our products and services. So let's do an example of design work at 1500. As you see, it starts totaling up everything that we're adding. So 1500. And if we have another line item for the same invoice, we just click the plus. And as you see here, we have now two line items. I'm going to select hours for labor, 40 hours, 50. So for this one invoice, we have 1500 for design work, 2000 for labor, total 3500. When you click on the row, it gives us a couple options. Uh, you can duplicate this invoice, create a new one, so add uh, line items so you can create the invoice. Uh, new line item as we did here or delete the invoice let's click on uh, duplicate invoice so what this does is uh, it duplicates this invoice for whatever customers we list here so I have two John Doe, Sarah Doe and now we have this same invoice for John Doe and Sarah Doe now, you want to only do this if the invoices are similar, so you can just make small changes. Perhaps, um, John Doe, you didn't do any labor. Maybe you just did design work, so you could just remove it. And when you're done, you could save and send. It's going to send to the emails here. Save and print, or just save. I'm going to just save. And now when we go to sales, all sales, we have all three invoices that we created. And there you go. I hope this video was helpful. If so, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. We upload videos every week. So make sure to subscribe so you get notified.